Good afternoon on this beautiful, almost spring day. We have less than a month to go. And I am marveling at how the sunshine is starting to feel a little bit warmer and the days are getting a little bit longer. And that is one thing that I appreciate about the season of Lent. It is a time of lengthening. It's also a time of longing, a time of intentional thinking within the life of the church. And in this church season, it's a time for us to be thinking about mortality, a time for us to be thinking about life, and anything else that is on our hearts and minds. It's a good time for us just to be thinking, period. I'm thinking about Tuesday. Tuesday is a primary election day and whether you participate in a primary or not, it is good for us to be thinking about the issues at hand, those issues that are taking place within our local governments, but also at the presidential, presidential run that, is, uh, that we've heard so much about through the debates and commercials, all those sorts of things. It's a good way for us to be active in this season, to be thinking about what matters most, not only for us personally, but for us as a community, a community of faith and the community in which we live. I hope you take some time in this season of Lent to reflect, to take some time to check in with what matters to you most, and also for us to be an informed electorate as we go to the streets as we talk to our friends, as we encounter our family. I hope that we can have some really wonderful and constructive dialogue because I think that's what's most needed is how can we all be adults in this season and speak articulately? And if we can't speak clearly, then maybe at least we raise lots of questions and we can speak out of kindness and love. I hope you are able to enjoy some of this beautiful sunshine on this day, and I hope to see you soon. God's blessings and peace be with you. May the light and love of Christ be with you in this Lenten season. See you soon.